Welcome to the real African village life. Basically, I'm teaching you how to survive in Africa. You always eat the road when you're missing home, and everyone can testify that I miss home. It has been a while, I haven't done a video about my village. for the ambush you up to make sure you sit in confinement with all kinds of people from the rich to the poor uh, to the madmen yeah the insane all kinds of people professors to the unlearned and you can't complain but there at this area um, we have the trains there's a mode of transport but I got late in booking so I had to humble up and do this yeah bye it's a good thing. I haven't been using public transport for the longest time. For the longest time, but I'm happy for this. So it made me remind me myself what I used to do some years ago. So I'm crossing and I need to be extra careful. It's not that safe. Yeah, no one manages the, tra the traffic, so you the one to be careful. So you, you use your common sense always. <laughs> so if you don't use your common sense, then uh, it's up to you. No one will ever tell you that you need to do this or you don't need to do this. Yeah, use your mind. Use your brain. Oh, that's pretty going on. And uh... Maybe I have a different mentality or a different uh, character from everyone else, but uh, religion at times misleads people. Believing too much at, at times can be poisonous. Being too much religious can be so poisonous. But if someone believes in going to worship all the time to an extent that they don't even get time to go and work. So basically I need to pick up vehicle here to the destination I'm headed to. Here you find uh, almost every rider doesn't have a license, a driving license. Their vehicles, their motorbike don't have uh, insurance. Welcome to the real African village life. So anytime at the village, you have to take your livestock uh, to Malishoni, yeah? To where you're going to feed them from. So we are in a season whereby we're feeding them from the, from the river, the Napier grass. So at that side, we're having a mountain. It's not a mountain, a rock, uh, a big hill. So I'm trying to remind myself what I used to do some years ago from this beautiful land, Africa, the crowd of mankind. Oh, yeah. So as you walk, you have to make sure that you don't feed from someone's napiagus. You have to be very careful, extra careful. It's 
So that's how Africa looks like. It's a good morning and the sun is just coming out from that side. From the east. Yeah, that's the east. Then west. Go see Africa! I always aim to showcase Africa to the world, you know? So it's, ne it's not a coincidence that I'm coming live from this beautiful land. We used to climb this rock from some point, oh this point, yeah. So I'm hoping if we get time I may take you to the top. This is going to be good. So we have to give the kettle time to drink water. Water is life, what is important. I know, as a human being, as well, you can't survive without you taking water. So, the same way. We need to give our animals same privileges. If you love drinking water, definitely your animal likes drinking water as well. So now we're going to the land. Yeah, we're going to the land. Watch to the end. Oh yeah. And you know, it's the first time since the season started. The first time we're taking them to this place. Oh, Jimmy. Put it away. Oh. Oh, get a gambo go there. Wow. So the journey still continues up uh, for about 300 meters. So we are kind of pastoralists. Our neighboring community, they are the Maasai people and they are pastoralists. So we used to doing things the way they do. We used to doing things their way. So our catch are somewhat similar, so we keep large herds of cattle. Unfortunately at the moment we don't have as many cattle as we used to have. Because now we don't have time to, for, for this all the time. We have other activities. Yeah, we have other activities. So we need to, we keep a few. But due to that, we acquired huge parcels of land for the sake of livestock rearing. Yeah, you have to be extra careful or else you're going to feed a salmon's land. That's our land at this side. But it's a dry season, so we have nothing at the plantation. Don't have maize. So the community is always informed before we shift the cattle to this side so just in case they step at your at your garden they don't complain yeah you, you have to know how to relate with your immediate neighbors yeah you have to create friendship 
So that's the land. From the river, yeah, going up this side. Now I have to wear my shoe. So there is a neighbor at that side by we taking the cattle to this point. So that's our land, our land. Yeah, up that yeah across the because it's a gully. Across the gully. So finally we are at this point. Where are we going to graze the cattle from? Yeah, we have some beautiful eucalyptus. Yeah, eucalyptus. They are about 10, 20, 20, so, I don't mean there. I Mm. Oh. 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 Our neighborhood there, and the boy is fighting to join me at this place. The boy is still very young, about uh, four years old. He four year, four or five years old. So he wanna he wants to join me uh, to the jungle. <laughs> In a couple again, like in your boy Jimmy Ambata, Amba with your cousin. So the boy is fighting to join me. Uh, okay, go up. <laughs> then be careful. Super no Gabalo, you take a boy. So, you see, African boys are hard because they are hard. They have been brought up to be war real warriors, you know? I'll see there then. Wow. So that's the land. Then after this cattle, we have uh, some beehives there. Eh? Oh. Namota. Oh, daddy. Oh. The father is my friend, so he has to update me that the father went to this and this place. It's our. So he's quite interesting to go and pick the stick. He believes that he can take care of the cattle, we can graze alone here. So he believes that, uh, so much convinced he can graze the cattle alone. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, are they across the new get So I'm trying to tell him. He's asking where our employees. Our employees, Jimmy. The guy was coming up with. So be like, he went back to the river, and I'm sweating. Iba. Oh, okay, go now. <laughs> Some commands <laughs> from the little yeah, the little champ.
Ja. Okay, I'm coming back. So we supposed to tether this kettle. I'm not looking after them up to evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's your name? Where are you? Mwendoa. Oh, Mwendoa nani? Mwendoa wao. Chalo. Oh, you tell him that he is Mwendo Chalo. His name, his father is Chalo. Wow. The little champion, yeah. Little champ. Very courageous boy. Wow. Subscribe to our channel from this beautiful side of Africa. Kenya, East Africa. Kimakia Kidora. What's the name of that mountain? Kimaki Kidora. Kimaki Kidora. Muti. Muti? No, Kidora and Zahu. So, when are we going to water the, with the kettle? To draw us in the Zaziana. To draw me the end of the Zaziana. Who is that with you? Yeah? Oh, daddy, okay. So he's telling me that once his father comes back, is when we're going to water this. No, that's not me. <laughs> so basically, what he's, uh, he's calling me, uh, the name they give my mother from this point. They only know her, they don't know us. Wow. Jimmy, yes. I went to pick uh, a certain goat there. Oh, I think it was a boy. Boy, it's a boy. Yeah. It's a boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a boy. So, life at the village, if this good, you know, and everyone here uh, trusts their neighbors. So for me, I wasn't known to his mother, but he, he trusted that the boy is safe with me. Wow. Can you trust your neighbor to be with your kids? Leave alone someone who don't know, whom you don't know, your neighbor, to be in this uh, side. This land, uh, in the jungle, where we have all sort of animals, we have uh, all carnivores, we have baboons, we have big reptiles, snakes, pythons. Wow! After all, being in Africa, you have to be taught how to be heard. You have to be taught responsibility, you have to be taught how to take care of your family property. Wow. Those brought up being told that whatever my father owns, that's his. That's not mine. So I have to work hard and look for mine. And that's why we always at the city uh, working hard. That's why I'm always here out here telling you subscribe to Go See Africa. <laughs> Mwendo. Wow. Mwendo, when are you going to join in school? We'll get school in there. 
Where are the school in there? That, so that's our local language, our no, native no, language. No, no, no. Hmm? No, no, no. So he's telling me that when when uh, Ngali is your aunt or your mother? Oh, he's telling me that when Ngali comes, he's going to school. So he hasn't gone to school, he's still a small boy, but he believes that once the, the lady comes, he's calling Ngali. That's when he's going, yes, he's reporting for school. Wow. The ha, fresh breath from this point. Yeah. The cool breeze. So if I'm not in this size, I prefer being somewhere uh, at the seashore, at the coast. But probably I'll be headed there. I'll be headed there. My boys are there. Wow. Big boy looking after cattle. So I wanna be going at this point. I'm looking for a way to climb this rock. Wow. So, my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. So, we are out here looking after cattle. This beautiful land, the beautiful Africa. Was Africa the promised land? So, hey! And to be extra careful. <laughs> Finally, I managed it. I managed it. <sighs> I won. Yes, you know. I won. If you are very observant, observant you can note that uh, we have a tent trail here. Here, in this tree, which is affecting the tree. So I wanna cut it off. I wanna cut it off. So let me find a way to go over the tree. So I want the eucalyptus to grow quite huge but now oh we're down so I'll also cut from the ground yeah to enhance its growth so these are our neighbors we have our servant quarter at this point where the caretaker lives at no live there stand there so the caretaker lives there. Uh, lives, he lives, lives there. So basically, this is uh, an area where by it's like a ranch where we move our cattle to every season. Anytime we want grass to grow from other side, look at how green the place is. I need to climb up here to show you better. Yeah, the area is so green. So this is a servant quarter here. These are so um, where we keep the you call it the hay, the hay 
food for the cattle. Yeah, an open one. Then, uh, yeah, we have some somewhere we can temporarily keep the cattle and time they are at this point. Yeah, so there we have uh, the beautiful garden. The beautiful garden. Some popo. A very big popo. So here we have the servant quarter. Basically, no one lives here. But anytime we have the cattle at this side, we have to let someone live at this point. This acts as a store for the machines, for the water pumps, and uh, the jambes, the fork, all that, and farm equipment. So there is a guy whom we allowed to live here first and uh, he built this. I don't know what he used to do with it. Maybe a kitchen or so. So well, let's go. Proceed. Twenty. Right there. Trying to hold this boy down this place. So this is a garden. And um, it smelling pesticide. So we might not eat the oranges. Since we have some oranges here. Yeah, we have them. And several down there. Those are they're all over. Mondo, where are you? Come. So I want you to take a piece. Come. No, I can't go. What do you? Hmm? You wanna hit that? So the boy knows how to fight for himself. Just pick his. Okay, India. So I wanted to share this with him, but uh, he has opted uh, doing it its way. So I need to buy it for him. I need to pay for him. Sweet. I like it. I like it, like it. But let me show you something. Here you have some jerry cans for I think for pesticides. Yeah. They weren't shy for water but um we use them for mixing pesticides. Then we have some bigger jerry cans here for water storage. I like them. 
then some oranges there, some seedlings, orange, orange seedlings, we need to transfer them. They have to be transferred. I need more. Probably I need more. This one is a bit hard. A bit hard. Okay. Okay. One more word here. So I achieved what, what was bringing me here. And uh, I'm turning the whole process to an eating program. <laughs> eating program. So let's eat. I had missed this freedom, being able to uh, eat the way I want, you know. And this is the life you grow up having. The fourth one in counting. And probably the last one. Oh, it's not that good as I expected. So now I'm taking you around our small orchard, that big small orchard. It's about five, six acres. And uh, here we have coconut. So that's a coconut tree. You either eat the coconut or uh, it's a coconut or you drink that water which you call madafu. Then this one, the reeds. We can use them as well as brooms. Then uh, we have these pixies. Wow. Then uh, what else? Oh, the sun is this side. So um, the pix here. Oh, it, this is the santaras, 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 something. I, I don't know how you call it in English. Then uh, bananas. Let me show you something. Yes. Uh, plenty. Then uh, what are the tomatoes? Some more coconut at this point. More coconut. Big one. Do I really need to move from Africa or I simply need to uh, make Africa better? I will make Africa better. But the Trinis and uh, those people in the Caribbean are African as well. So what am I going to do? Wow, that's confusion. Cause I feel the Caribbean is Africa as well. <laughs> Let me show you some sugar cane. This is sugar cane. 
There are plenty. Very sweet sugar cane. Very tasty. Our neighbors have some as well. So where should I pass? The Africa they don't show you on the media. So here we have sweet potatoes. Don't worry, I'm stepping on top. So more sugar cane. Here we have a mango tree. But why am I tempted to pick another one? Which one should I pick? This one? This is a pumpkin. I need some water for drinking, so let me show you how we, how we do it from this side. No, I need to remove my shoe. So I'm teaching, basically I'm teaching you how to survive in Africa. The African villages. So these guys will be surprised uh, to see me recording, but let me see how they behave. But they drink water the same way I'm doing it. So it's not a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. You go out there and hear you. Yeah. I was there again and there. Oh, and Eh. Hello, what is that? Eh. Kaya Eh. 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 Eh.
So these guys were asking whether I filmed them. So I, st I informed them that, uh, yeah, I'm sure they, I did. If they want uh, a copy of the same, I sent it to them. <laughs> so, and that's the level of civilization we have lately. People don't complain when uh, you film them. Those, these are uh, a public land, it's a public space, and to make it worse, this is our land. So now the water is clean. I can drink, but I need to fetch a lot of it, so I need to make it larger. Ask them some questions. What do you want to know from what, what I'm doing here? Leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching me from. Do you do it in your land the way I'm doing it? Kindly subscribe to this channel. Subscription is the only. Uh, oh damn! Yeah, subscription is the, the only support I ever ask from you guys. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for nothing. But subscription, subscribe. To subscribe is free. So it's now clean. I can't drink it. You are in Africa and you want to experience this. I'm here to take you around. So anytime you visit Africa, reach out to me. Go see Africa. Now we leave.
So we have to uh, fill this for the ghetto. They be drinking from this point. Now, after all that exposure and uh, working on limited time, because I have to do all this, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'm leaving for Mombasa, the coastal town of Kenya. So, I want to take you to my home, the house I started building some years ago, then I went broke. <laughs> so, by probably I'm going to resume my construction end time from now, but yeah, this is it. So, I was coming up purposely to check on the progress of this. It's our plans. This is a project I started some uh, some months ago, but I, I guess this guy replaced this. The guy maintaining it, cause uh, I expected them to be of this level. I I'm happy that he did he replaced without informing me, cause uh, wow. That's a big difference. That one and this one. Quite a big difference. Because I expected them to be of the same level. So this is the house. So I built in some years ago, about three years ago. Look at this. So this is the thing I was looking at. That's what I was looking for. You see this? Start, I planned a long time ago. Then I gave up on Mendena, so most of them dried up. They dried up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see this? How big it is. Then the house is here. This one should be having water. As usual, uh, good. So I've been paying my cousin to maintain this. And by talking this, I'm sure uh, this guy doesn't watch my vlogs. Family never watches my vlogs, so. Uh, I can address him the way I want. Let me check on it. Wow, someone to step on my plane? Damn. I'm disappointed. Basically, I feel like I'm retrogressing. Retrogressing. Yeah, this one is going quite fast. Quite fast. Wow. But someone needs to get fired. If they happen to watch the vlog, then they're getting fired. This one is a big one. But he hasn't made a place where by uh he poured the water too so i expected to have something like a basin when it's watering and i never expected the plant to have all this so i came to this point to lament <laughs> i came to lament basically so oh damn so dirty wow so he likes me how we water this. How do someone reach that point to water that plant? There's no way. There's no way this guy can. Damn. Oh, I'm learning. No, I learned now. I learned my lesson. Wow, wow. 
go see Africa thinks is quite sharp, yeah, to detect when someone lying to him. Oh, that one is a big one. It's a big one. Wow, wow. Big one. So that's my dad. I'm here with him. So let me show you something different. I need to give you a better view of this house from up there. Damn. I feel scammed. Oh, that's it. It's quite a big house. A big one. So apart from telling you guys to keep on subscribing to this channel, supporting me, yeah, by subscribing, commenting, and liking my videos, we still have projects. This is a four bedroom house. Four three. Any four. Yeah. Because uh, ideally the bedrooms are three, but we still have some other rooms whereby I can uh, use them as a bedroom as well. Wow. My very expensive uh, iron sheets being used here. Beautiful villages of Africa. And so the sun is going down. And do you know one of the reasons as to why my trip to Trinidad and Tobago always takes long? This is the reason. You see that? So I have to close the day in style. This is an apix. So I'm going to be eating it. And um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my vlog. It's a long one. This is the start, the start of the day, you know. I took you around um, every step I made. I always made sure I did a short film. So if you like my video, kindly comment and subscribe to my channel. My name is Gossi Africa. I am a traveler and a YouTuber from Africa. Have a good bye.